What makes you sad about the country you live in? Economical crisis, terrible president, internet limitations, blocking local news channels that give real news, people getting drowned in loans that they can't repay, not being able to treat their citizens nicely, putting people looking for freedom into jail, not giving child rights properly, can't communicate nicely with other countries it is Turkey, Netherlands. We've always told ourselves that we're a tolerant nation, to the point that now we've grow accustomed to tolerating intolerance. I expect a lot of Western Europe is feeling the same. As an indigenous person in Canada, I'm extremely sad that my native language was almost wiped out during colonization. All of our remaining speakers are elders. We are doing our best to relearn. Corruption in Kenya. It's been so normalized that corrupt politicians know it won't be an election issue. All the wars and cuts of salaries I live in Kurdistan which is in Iraq. Australia is basically selling off land to another country you can probably guess which one and it's destroying local industries. Oh god yes, it sucks us seeing China slowly taking over all the cities, and the worst part is that it's not even a secret that they are doing it. People here are, are too illiterate, they are too religious and can't stand a single logical question about it. There are people of my country who became CEO's most popular companies, won gold medals in Olympic, ran for elections in other countries and then there are people who worships books, stones and animals. People keep reproducing and end up having large families without being able to support them, which causes many other problems. Edit, Mexico. The political obsession and division ripping families apart in the US. Also, shit options for affordable healthcare and a corrupt prison industry. We live in 2020 and our internet is still dog shit Germany. We are almost last place in EU but the most expensive. Shameful. Our mediocre education system and how we are not investing in education. USA. Not only that, but also taking away money from departments that help fund poor public schools while at the same time trying to implement large tax credits for private schools. Disgusting. I went to the same school K-12, however the area around my school consisted of a lot of older retirees. So when local bond measures came up to raise taxes and provide more funding to the school, it got turned down, year after year. When I was in junior high and high school it was bad. Budget cuts were so bad that the school nearly had to close. All after school activities, extracurriculars, buses, etc all cut. After I graduated, all those selfish old fucks started to die off. Younger families moved into the area, and the district got a breath of new life. The school is once again thriving, has committed faculty, and is doing the best it has in 30 plus years. There are Indian reservations without clean drinking water. It feels like the divided states of America instead of united. People have seemingly lost the ability to talk to one another in a civil, productive way to achieve a better result for everyone. Everything is political now, even a fucking virus. I weep for the future. I feel like I'm stuck in the middle. I agree and disagree with both sides, depending on the topic and it's tough when I feel like I can't say anything that goes against anyone's views. In South Africa the worst problems we face are, corruption, theft, pollution, litter, Poverty, lack of jobs, idiots in parliament, proof of idiots in parliament, https colon slash slash m dot youtube dot com slash watch question mark vehicles ltv dash ajjz1 wq. The people aren't even willing to listen to the other side of an argument, they'd rather talk over you or laugh at you rather than try and understand where you're coming from. Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down?